Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Arena Time. And it's not giving me a lot of choices. I've played uh, two of these very recently, so I guess I'm going Hunter. Man, I pissed off by that last Warlock run. Should have been a good run. It was not. This would have been a good card if I'd chosen Priest. Uh, whatever. Frozen Crusher. I don't know. Elemental. Am I going to have any weapons? It's unlikely, so we'll take the wolf. Uh, let's go with the recorder. Recorder's pretty annoying. They're taking out the fledgling from the arena. They're like, no more vicious fledgling in the arena. It was a stupid way to automatically win the arena. Although I'm starting to think the new way is <laughs> the bone mare. I'm not going to get any bone mares, of course, because it's a common... I'm pretty sure any... Anytime I'm given a bone mare in the arena, I just take it. Like, it would have to be something crazy to de deter me from that. Uh, let's go Fairy Dragon. On the Hunt is okay, but I'll go Fairy Dragon instead. It's funny that I think On the Hunt is okay, and that the elf who is a minion version of the exact same thing, like the same effect, you get a 1-1 one, one, and 1 damage, I think is crap. But On the Hunt gives you a beast, and it's also affected by spell damage. Uh, do I want the Sunborn Valkyr? It can be very strong. It's just really, uh, given the choices, these are pretty weak. Let's just take the Valkyr. We're getting more out of the card, anyway. Um, crap, crap, cat. Uh, oh, Cobalt Scalebane is Death Machine. Almost always take the Scalebane in the arena. Um, let's go Volatile Elemental. Chance to get some elemental tech, potentially, even though I don't have any yet. Uh, he would be elemental tech. I don't know if I can have any weapons, though, and this guy's a beast. I mean, he's literally a beast, but he's also metaphorically a beast. He's awesome. Oh, I was going to get a weapon. We get death, death Stalker guy. This guy triggers off elementals. I don't have that many elementals, though. I'm not as concerned. I think the, the bow is just like a clear winner here. Gotta have the boat. This is cool and all. I've got some death rattle. Okay, two of them already. I'll probably have more, but I, I gotta take eagle horn bow when given the chance. Because you don't get that many weapons as a hunter. Am I gonna have enough spell damage to benefit from evolved kobold? You know I'm not the biggest fan of freezing trap because it can freezing backfire ass on you. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the veteran. I don't prioritize one cost minions a lot, but I like her compromise between being a 2-1 and also still giving a bonus to something you can use to kill something. Plus, hers is a permanent bonus, so sometimes you could give that to something that would actually survive for a while. Teacher versus Corpse Corpse is actually pretty powerful. I mean, he, he requires you to have something else good out, but I think it's probably worth it. Deadly shot. Jeweled McCall would be, you know, reasonable, but deadly shot, man. Do you want Raptor Hatchling? Shuffling a 4-3, which only costs 1 into your deck, just doesn't seem like... Like, that's really long-term and not super powerful long-term. Like, that guy doesn't impress me that much. Like, I'd rather have this guy for, for 1 mana, even though like, he's a beast. The dragons... Again, I have one... I only have one dragon. No, I've got two dragons so far. So if I take one of these, I could get future dragon stuff and maybe make it work. I don't think it's worth taking him, though. <sighs> He's strong if you have the dragon thing going. But it's so easy for him to not be any good for that cost. I'd rather just take him. But the more of them I have, the more likely that other things that trigger off dragons would be worth it. Um, Hello. the hell, Hearthstone Client? There's no reason for this. How many resources can your ga goddamn game take? Okay, Dispatch Kodo is pretty good. I don't know if I have any ways to buff him, but it's still a 2-4 that does 2 damage anywhere I choose. And in the, in the arena, that's fine. You would be a beast, but we're going to go with the Daring Reporter instead. Because I feel like it has more chance to do good. Exploding Bloatbat is interesting. So two damage to all minion death rattle is kick-ass. But how many elementals do I have? Like I, I'm very fond of the Servant of Asher, of Kalamos, as you know. One. I only 
only have two elementals so far, and one of them is expensive. You know what? I'm going to go with the blow pad. I'm going to have to give up on the elemental thing, unless I get a ton of them coming. Stone Hill pretty much always wins, even though that's the better of the hogs. Um, not a very good row. Do I want a Rocketeer? I don't have a lot of killing stuff right now. I think I'm going to go for more... I don't, I don't have that much stuff that cares about beasts, other than this guy. So maybe getting more beasts isn't actually all that useful. You know what, let's take the Rocketeer just because I don't have much expensive stuff and I don't have much that can kill things. Second Rate Bruiser is definitely second rate compared to Stonehill. You can get me a second rate Bruiser, potentially. Uh, let's take another Deadly Shot out of those guys. Okay, I don't know how many Deadly Shots I need. Would I rather have another, a third Deadly Shot, or a Multi-Shot, or a Bear Shark? That is actually not that easy a choice. Deadly Shot can often be the amazing card, but if you have too many of them, you're just going to be using them to take out random crap. It's not going to be great. I think I'm going to go more rushy and just take the Bear Shark. Probably a stupid move. Um, garbage, garbage, meh. Wicked Skeleton, again, it's for each minion to die. If you kill some enemy minions, it can work out okay. But, I mean, three things have to die before you get a 4-4 four, four for four, which is not good value. So you actually need four things to die in a turn. It's just too unreliable. Ultrasaur seems pretty reliable. Wow, this guy again. I, I looked, I did barely even looked at him, but he's back. I didn't take the multi-shot, so I'm just not that interested in him. Like, I've got nothing that deals damage. Nothing that deals spell damage at all. Could have had some, but we'll go Jewel Macaw for more beasts. Bone Mare. Um, that's interesting. Uh, let's take the Venom Strike Trap. Your commander is okay, but eh. Stampede is each time you play a beast this turn, add a random beast to your hand. I mean, that should easily get me back one card for one mana, which is not very good. So I've got to play it and play two beasts in the same turn. I have a decent number of beasts, but are they that cheap? I don't know. I don't think it's going to work out. I could take the Skulking Geist instead to blow up other people's Stampede. I don't have any one-cost spells. I could go the Snake Trap. More traps is better for my one Eagle Horn bow, but it's just one bow, so it doesn't matter that much. Snake Trap's not my favorite trap. Let's take the Skulking Geist. I don't know. Um, I could have a third Reporter, but I think that's probably too many. On the other hand, how many two drops do I need? I don't have anything that cares about Murlocs. It would be... I've got a fair amount of taunt already, too. I don't think any of these things is particularly compelling for my deck as it is now. You can definitely have too many fours. I think I'm going to take the Tide Hunter. Probably a mistake, like everything else. Oh, now I passed up some secrets. I could get another Eagle Horn Bow. It's tempting, but I think the Volcanosaur is more likely to help me win the game. And that's a deck, I guess. Two Deadly Shots, two Daring Reporters have much stuff that... I have a lot of beasts, and I ended up not getting anything, really, that cares about them, except the 3-2 guy, and he's, he might be my first beast out, so he, he there's a good chance I'd be playing him without getting to use his amazing superpower to adapt something. So that's not good. I don't know. I have some fat things for the late game, so I shouldn't be totally screwed. Good, decent stuff. I got a lot of fours. I don't know. Just trying to contemplate the deck as a whole as much as I can remember it. I don't know if I can protect some daring reporters for some daring reporter wins, but I don't know what else is going to be happening. I'm going first. Do I keep a daring reporter in my hand? I don't think so. I got to get more cheap cards. Like he's a good start. Okay, that's good. Bowmer is an amazing card. Not good this early. Of course, I only got one, even though it's common. Even though I was getting frequently beaten by mages who had two or more bone mares. Which is, like, which is sick. I would have taken a bone mare over him pretty much any day. 
this warlock probably has to do something to blow up my murlocs. It's not like a mage who just shoots the big one. So what you got? I've got no. I've got the bow. I'm gonna play the bow next turn. Play a minion with three health. You will play a minion with three health. No, you will play three minions with one health. That's unfortunate. Oh no, two. Okay. That's not great. I am gonna waste this killing one of them because then I can keep my two one alive. But it's pretty sad, really. He got the value out of that card more than I got out of my bow, probably. Now you're probably not going to play a minion with three health because you're looking at the bow. On the other hand, if you play something I can kill, then I can play the reporter and have a maybe unmolested reporter because that'd be awesome. Freezing me, okay. Don't don't kill the two one. No, 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 because I want to be able to kill that guy so that my reporter will be safe. Damn it! I'm going to try the reporter anyway, because what else am I going to do? But I don't like that I can't protect her at all. My opponent only needs two damage, another shitty drain life, and it is a shitty card. Would easily solve this situation for my opponent. Drink the power. Chemist is a little scary, but I can just blow her up and I can like just shoot her next turn. Venom Strike Craft. Interesting. Well, I guess we're playing it because I don't have much else going on. I don't see the reason to take the damage on my guy. Plus, you don't know what's going on now that I've got a secret out there. As it turns out, Venom Strike is probably not the correct secret to deal with this situation, but he doesn't know that. Poisonous. Okay, that will kill the reporter, and there's probably nothing I can do about it. It will also give me the Venom Strike thingy. Um, yeah, make you choose between killing this guy and the Venom. Or no, I'm just I'm gonna play the Skulking guys. Cause you've got to kill the reporter anyway. So let's get rid of any one cost cards this guy has. I don't have any. Neither did he. It blew up nothing. Now, you probably attack my other guy first with the 2-1, just to see if I... what secret I have? Now, you already attacked last turn, so you know it's not a frozen trap. So you probably don't... there's nothing that would stop you from killing the reporter. Kills the reporter. Although, actually, I love that you played the giant first, because now my Venom Strike Trap is actually going to get the giant. That's amazing. That's possibly, like, game-winning swing right there. I could also actually buff this thing, trying, but it, there's an 8-8 out there to kill, so we'll just do that. And then... Do I Bone Mare now? There's nothing really to protect against. I'm thinking I should almost just Volcanosaur instead. Try and use that Bone Mare more as a surprise, finisher, emergency taunt. Wind Fury. Wind Fury could be awesome. Wind Fury can't be targeted, and I'm going to kill your 2-1. That's pretty sweet. And now, if I Nightmare that, I could actually literally be killing my opponent next turn. We'll see how things go, but the untargetable Wind Fury guy is something of a threat. That's not how I expected that turn to go at all. I was so tempted to just bone mare that guy, but no, I think Volcanosaur was the correct choice. Oh, what do you got? Poisonous taunt Volcanosaur? That'd be annoying. Plus three attack. That's very similar. Alright, well, I'm going to have to sacrifice... Uh, some Never mind. I was going to bone mare my 4-4 and kill that thing, but I'm just going to deadly shot it and win the game. Uh, I could play that, but I'm going to shoot you instead. And game. If you nether void, you'll have no minions. 
I'll shoot you for two, and then you're pretty screwed at that point. Oh, that's pretty rough. I have to go back to my previous plan. Well, that was a commanding victory. I don't think that's going to happen every time. But my cards sure came in the right order eventually. I didn't need that top deck deadly shot to position myself to win. I was probably going to win if that if I hadn't had just never gotten that deadly shot and gotten other stuff because I was pretty set up. But it did make the win a lot more convincing. All right. Well, we got one win and no losses. We know how well that worked on the last run. So we'll just have to see if I can do a little bit better than one in three next time. If you enjoyed this, please activate the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.